Hey guys, what's up? It's time for another rant video, and in this video in particular I've been meaning to do for quite some time because it's an issue that I think we can all relate to. Well, all DVD and Blu-ray enthusiasts out there who've been buying DVDs and Blu-rays over the last few years have noticed this issue in particular, and it deserves a little attention. I, I think we need to talk about this in the positive aspect of it and then all of the negative aspects of it notice i said positive aspect and negative aspects the issue we are going to be talking about today ladies and gentlemen is of course digital copies All right, so if you haven't seen what a digital copy is like, well, sometimes it says on the outside cover that it is a digital copy. Sometimes it doesn't, as you can see here. But when you get inside, you'll notice how to get your iTunes or Windows Media digital copy of Watchmen. And they have a little code here, which I am not afraid to show you right here. Look at that code. That code is so useful. And I, there's a reason I don't mind showing you that code that I'll talk about soon. But yes, this is what the digital copy looks like. And the digital copy is basically, you know, a DVD with the file of the uh, movie on it that you can download and um, put on your computer or on your iPod or on your PSP or your PS3 even in some cases. Um... And who's to say that's a bad idea, you know? I think it's kind of designed for, like, you know, mobile devices, for, you know, being able to watch things on the go. Honestly, I don't think that's a bad thing, but, you know, it's just, it's kind of not super important, you know, because they already have ways to download this stuff, like off of the PSN store or, or you know, other sources you know you can download this stuff and watch stuff like okay the windows phones you can watch netflix instant watch on your windows phone i mean it just seems like digital copies are kind of pointless um i'll say this i will say this for them it's nice and handy to have you know, something on your computer that you can go to without having to go to your, you know, your DVD shelf. You know, if you want to be extra ultra lazy, it is nice to be able to have something there on your hard drive that you legally own and you can legally watch and there's no issues with, with it whatsoever. But there are more than a few downsides to digital copies, as most of us well know. The first downside that I'll talk about is of course the codes why why is this a big issue you might wonder why why am I not afraid to show you this code well it's actually quite simple really it's not good anymore if you read the fine print it'll tell you that the offer expired I don't know if it'll even show up here at the top but the fi there's fine prints there, there it says Digital copy offer expires July 21st, 2010. Which means if you bought this after that, you're, you're shit out of luck. No kidding. If you buy this Blu-ray, if you buy this Blu-ray on Amazon or anywhere else, if you buy it at all, anywhere, right now, and you want to use the digital copy, you can't use it. It's been, you know... It's defunct. The offer no longer stands. Now, you'll still get the disc for the digital copy. You'll still get this. And notice I have no problem manhandling the hell out of this thing, scratching it the hell up like this. You want to know why? Because it's completely freaking useless! What am I supposed to do with this? May I ask you? May I please ask you? What am I supposed to do with this, this waste of a disc? It's a waste of a freaking disc. 
I can't use it for a goddamn thing. I can use it for a coaster. No disc has been this useless since AOL stopped putting out those free discs for their services. This, I mean, I guess it would make a nice little coaster, wouldn't it? I mean, you got a nice little Watchmen coaster. Yeah. The only problem is it has this nice little digital copy thing on the bottom, ugling it up. Freaking hell is this good for? This is not good for anything. It's a fucking waste. What am I supposed to do with this? It's it's useless. It's a disc that is completely useless. So not only is the code useless, the disc is useless. That's two things. The code they give you no longer works. You can't use it. You can't get access to the digital copy. If you put it in there, some of these will let you download the movie onto your freaking computer and then they'll tell you to put the code in. It still won't let you access the file because when you enter the code, it will tell you that the offer has expired. What is the freaking point? What is the point? If you're not going to offer it anymore, stop putting it in there. Stop putting this in the freaking case. Stop making these when they have no fucking purpose. Okay, I understand there are still copies out there from when it was originally released, and this is probably one of those cases, or even a little while after it was released, while this was still valid and stuff. But can you explain to me why they would still be making these? They would. I, I can still. I can foresee them still producing these, and still producing this useless digital copy disc. What is it good for? It's good for nothing. This is useless. Like, literally, tell me one thing you can do with this. You might be able to rewrite it, but I highly freaking doubt that. Uh, you can put it in the microwave, have a little fun, fuck up your microwave. But, I mean, what is it good for? What can you use this for? It's useless. All it's there for is to cover up that empty space in your case. It's like, okay, well, well, just so the case is complete and I can say that I have the whole thing. Well, yeah, you have the whole thing. You have the whole thing, including the freaking useless digital copy disk. Now, okay. This gets into the whole issue of how digital rights management is complete and utter horseshit. But uh, before I get into that, let me just explain myself a little bit here. The thing about digital copies is, as I've mentioned, the disk becomes useless after a set amount of time. The code becomes useless. Why is there a limit? If you're going to offer somebody the opportunity to put, like, to put something on their hard drive, to put a copy of the movie on their hard drive, why are you limiting the amount of time they have to be able to do so? It doesn't really make sense to me. It's, I mean, I can't think of any legitimate reason that you would limit the time that they have the ability to do so. Other than, you know, uh, copyright law or something. But still, it's like, that's a bullshit reason to be quite freaking honest. Because I'll tell you what, I have actually put digital copies on my computer from Blu-rays that were put out over two years ago, like three years ago. I literally bought them like three years ago and waited until just recently to put them on my hard drive to see how they looked, you know. And the one in particular I'm thinking about is Horton Hears a Who. I put it on there. It's I've had that thing for like two or three years now. In fact, I think it's been about three years. And that, it went on there without any problem. The code I entered worked. Everything was gravy. But then it seems like shortly afterwards, that's when they started implementing the offer expires in set amount of time thing. And that doesn't make any sense. Because I don't, what are you protecting? You're, you're putting it in things that, pe you're putting it in with the Blu-ray and, or the DVD or whatever. People are buying the product and they're getting the digital copy for free. What exactly? What is the harm? What is the harm of letting them put the digital copy on there whenever the hell they want to? 
What the hell are you afraid of? You're not going to lose any sales. You're making sales. What the hell is the issue here? I, for the life of me, I can't understand it. Just, just why? Why with this? Why with the whole digital copy expire? Why, it, why does it expire? If you're going to put something on a disc and sell it to somebody, a media format, you know, on a disc and sell it to somebody and tell them that they have to use it in a set amount of time or it expires that's horse shit i'm sorry but that's freaking horse shit so yeah gonna keep doing that with the digital copies you want to want you want you wonder why nobody gives a shit about digital copies and nobody wants digital copies because even for like the small infinitesimal value of the digital copy um you're making it so difficult just to be able to get the goddamn thing that nobody really wants to go to the hassle for something that's just not worth it. It's just not. And I'll tell you why it's not worth it. Because the quality on half of these things is complete and utter shit. I mean... It's on a DVD. It's supposed to be DVD quality, but usually, more often than not, it is not DVD quality. It is worse, considerably worse than DVD quality. Like, really bad. Like, you can barely make things out sometimes. Um, in my other video I mentioned I got uh, Inglorious Bastards. I put my digital copy on my computer just to see how that looked. And oh my god. That has to be the ugliest transfer of that movie that I have ever seen. I mean, I didn't know it could look that bad, to be quite honest with you. I didn't. It looks horrible. You buy a Blu-ray for the high quality image and they give you a digital copy that looks like complete and utter shit now I would understand if it was a DVD quality but it's not even DVD quality it's complete and utter horse shit I mean what the hell is the use if it's not even up to the quality standards of a freaking DVD so I'm gonna show you some more that I some more blu-rays that I own in fact by the time I got them I couldn't even use the digital copies because they had expired. Where the wild things are on Blu-ray comes with a digital copy that is completely useless. District 9, I should have done something with this. Uh, maybe I should have, I guess. Maybe. But, uh, yeah. No longer valid. Uh, the Dark Knight. No longer valid. Now, of course... You always, whenever you have the chance, you want to watch it in high definition if you're buying the high definition format. But I mean, sometimes maybe I'll be at school and bored or something like that. And maybe I'll have my laptop and maybe I won't want to go to the hassle of downloading something or putting on Netflix or something. Or maybe I won't even be where, there, uh, where there's um, internet access. And I have some of the legally free downloaded movies from uh, archive.org, stuff like, you know, Plan 9 from Outer Space and Metropolis, and that's all great and stuff. But what if I want to watch something else, you know? So I figured, why not put these digital copies on there? And, um, <laughs> well, why not put them on there? Well, number one, they look like shit. Number two, they won't even let you put them on there. You know? I mean... It's not like they're completely useless, but when the companies are themselves making it completely useless, then why even have them? Oh. And you know what's crazy is that they're actually selling digital copies by themselves now. And I have no doubt, no doubt that those are also dependent upon uh, an expiring offer so you better buy it soon or it'll be expired and completely fucking worse worthless within a year or two i mean what the freaking hell is the point of this so yeah shit quality for the most part um an expiring date useless discs 
uh, useless codes and the one one value of it is that you can legally watch stuff on your off of your hard drive or on your um, mobile device or where whatever you know whenever you want to yeah it's nice but um, I'm not sure it's worth all the freaking hassle what is the point I don't freaking get it why number one why would you even put the these horrible quality transfers on a DVD these are DVDs that they call digital copies but they're DVDs you can fit the freaking full DVD quality version of the freaking movie on that DVD because like every other DVD it's a freaking DVD with 4.7 gigs of space instead you put on these like half a gig to gigs file size uh, quality prints that aren't even in the right aspect ratio half the time I mean, what the freaking hell is that about God why why Oh, it boggles the freaking mind. So that's the first problem, is that they're not even taking full advantage of the freaking technology that digital copies offer with the DVD. The second problem is that they make it so that the DVD becomes completely worthless within a year or two. They're shooting themselves in the freaking foot! What is the freaking point of this? <sighs> so, yeah. I'm going to go on board saying if I want to use a digital copy, sure, I'll use it. If I think of doing so before they freaking take the right from me. <sighs> but otherwise, like all of you, I don't buy a Blu-ray or a DVD for the digital copy, and I never will. And I'm never going to buy just a digital copy because that's freaking horseshit. Because I'll every time I look at a freaking digital copy on sale, just alone by itself, all I'm going to be thinking is, hmm, I bet this is already expired, and yet they're still selling it. How can I trust you if you guys can't even make an across-the-board decision not to have expired dates? Oh, there's not even a point to having the expired dates, but it's so across-the-board wishy-washy that you don't even know which companies are doing it and which aren't. You have to find lists online of the movies that don't have this expiry date and the movies that do have this expiry date. This is freaking insane. What kind of bullshit bureaucracy crap is this? Ugh. Anyways, to end this off, I just want to say that if there is one company out there that knows what they're doing when it comes to this kind of stuff, it appears to be universal because I have had nothing but positive results and positive success with Universal's digital copies. Where it gets a little complicated is when you get to the Warner Brothers releases like this, and this, and this, and then the Sony Pictures releases like this. Sony Pictures is even worse than Warner Brothers because they make you download the fucking file before they let you know that, oh, by the way, the file is expired. Universal, from what I've experienced so far, at least most of their stuff, or the stuff that I've bought from them, does not have expiry dates. There's no expiration on their digital copies, or at least not the ones that I've used. And to top it up with Universal, from my experience thus far, I have discovered that their digital copies are actually pretty damn good quality. They're not quite DVD quality, but they're just about there. They're just barely, like a little bit lower than DVD quality. But it's good enough that it's noticeable enough that it's like you can tell that they put a little bit more effort into these digital copies than anybody else does. So 
I would say that if you see a Blu-ray or a DVD with a digital copy and it's coming from Universal, that you should feel confident, even though I know you don't give a damn about the digital copy, you should feel confident knowing that at least that digital copy is not a piece of crap. And hey, there might also be a chance that that digital copy will be valid for more than 10 seconds. This is Stoutman, signing out. Peace.